There's also um, uh, things called intentional errors, where some map publishers will actually deliberately include wrong things in their data sets to see if you're going to copy them. This is a famous one from uh, Bristol. There's a, t a lovely square full of really beautiful Victorian buildings here uh, called Cannon Square. And uh, if you look at the EVA, this is a tiny little extract from the O to Z map of, of uh, Bristol. And it has the appropriately named Lie Close, which comes off Canning Square. And if you go on to Canning Square on Google Street View or something like that, you see there it is there, and it turns out that Lie Close is a lie. It doesn't exist. <laughs> They've deliberately put that street in there to see if somebody else copied this. They've copied my data. And I can come down on you like a ton of bricks. You, you, you deliberately put, you know, you, you copied the deliberate error I made. There's a uh, geotagging on tweets. Somebody made a map of London, and you know, and this is where all of the pictures live. Right? This is from about two years ago when people were kind of new. So Soho Mountain in the middle, where all the, all these Twitter uh, people are, are, are tweeting from. <laughs> and you are into the different parts of London uh, where Twitter hasn't really caught on at the time, and uh, you know, they've been slightly rendering those valleys. And of course, fourth where I think there's a four square menu here, there's about 10 or 15 people check in or something. But you can, you can pull out your data from that and display it uh, on a map. And we just heard there we do a, uh, a session on layout, um, augmented reality. And one of my favourite layout layers is Navaland, um, which contains all of the Nav properties that have been publicly made available on the, I think it's the Nav Wine Lake block. And uh, what he, what, Connor, who built that, uh, has done is he's rendered these beautiful Monopoly men. And uh, every Monopoly man is an armor building, and you can click on them and you can find out that yes, you own this building, and it was at one point worth X hundred million quid, and now 